Hey folks, Josh here, and you may know me as the steward of Rugged Ridge Forest. We craft wood-fired, organic, pure Vermont maple syrup, using as much traditional horsepower as we can. You can feel free to try some for yourself by heading on over to ruggedridgeforest.com. Today I'm going to tell you about my experiences fabricating a utility sled for my horse Hilton. I've also added a pioneer style quick hitch that allows me to substitute a straight pole for shafts when working with a two horse team. Pioneer does make a sled very similar to the one I created. I decided to fabricate this one myself because I enjoy the act of designing and fabricating and there were a handful of small changes to their design that I wanted to adjust for my purposes. Also, if you don't count my time, I probably saved a few bucks versus just ordering one from them. Last year, I built a prototype sled out of wood. I experimented with what are called box shafts that allow you to use a team harness with a single horse. Though many people rave about box shafts, Hildy didn't love it and often clanked her chin on the forward portion especially when she dropped her head down to back up. After discovering what I liked and didn't like with my prototype, I designed the metal sled on Google SketchUp. I checked out my friend's old Pioneer sled to get a rough idea of stock sizing and dimensions for each component. I then ordered the steel and started fabricating. It probably took me 30 hours of nights and weekends, but who keeps track of that time anyway? I made it to be quickly adjustable between shafts and a pole without tooling. I also designed the shaft assembly to rest relatively high at her rear so it wouldn't knock her rear fetlocks and knees when turning. The angle also applies backing pressure into the center of gravity of the runners, so it should back up smoothly based on the geometry. I shortened it compared to the Pioneer sled to be a little bit shorter on the ground for easier turning. I also turned up the ends on the rear runners so it would be easier to back up in uneven terrain. I didn't extend the floor decking the full length of the runners because if I put logs on it in order to drag them out like an arch, I didn't want them to lift the front end off the ground. It has six feet of deck space, six feet of runner on the ground, and it is four feet wide. I made it heavy duty enough that I could put logs or manure on it with confidence while also trying to keep it light enough for a single horse to pull. The 2x4 post pockets also allow me to drop in wooden sides or screw some sort of bench or toolbox to the uprights so that my tools don't clank around. I painted it with iron oxide primer so that the inevitable rust won't show through, and I shouldn't have trouble color matching in the future. So far it works great. One modification I plan to make is to round over the front of the runner. The hard 45 degree angle digs into hard snow, and I think the subtle curve of an arch would distribute that initial force more gradually while packing the snow under the runner. It's also a bit on the heavier side for a single horse in certain snow conditions, but I think it's going to be amazing when I hook two horses to a double. It does turn very nicely, even with a single horse. When I first got Hildy, I used to think it was cool to let her gallop between the shafts, Ben her style. Since then, I realize that her safety is paramount and it's a bad practice. She is a very forward horse and I was allowing her train to slip to the point that she would keep accelerating until I told her otherwise, thinking that I wanted the most out of her at every moment. Since then, I've shifted her training to be more focused on control, slowing the sled on descents, only going as fast as I ask, and being very deliberate with my speed, directional, and woe cues. She's an amazing horse and has met me where I've been at every step of the way.
If you've enjoyed this video, you can support our efforts while sweetening your flapjacks by grabbing some wood-fired maple syrup from ruggedridgeforest.com. Also feel free to like and subscribe for more of our on-the-farm content. Thanks, and have a great day.